It's fair to say that of the 40 odd thousand bottles of wine that I taste every year, I don't do it all at home and I don't do it all at sort of trade fairs and conferences and stuff. I actually find um, quite a few of my favorite wines in restaurants and I do that by traveling around and just being generally greedy. Um, this next estate is Bernard Beaudry, who is from Chinon in the Loire, right in the center of the Loire, a red producer, although he makes a little bit of white. Um, and it, he uses the Cabernet Franc grape variety, like all the great men do. Um, Bernard Beaudry is a relative newcomer to sort of my wine cellar, but I'm completely enamored with the wines, and that's because the wines are so expressive and so joyful. Um, he starts with a, a, an everyday price Chinon called Des Grange, moves up to Le Clos Guillaume, which can age a little bit more, but the wine that you really need to find is La Croix Boisse, right at the top of the ladder. And this is a structured Cabernet Franc, which is almost the same sort of weight as a great right bank Saint Emilion uh, from Bordeaux, even though this is a Loire wine, um, awful lot cheaper as well. Um, and he also makes a white wine called La Croix Boisse as well from Chenin Blanc. Now these two wines are particularly serious. Um, and I'll give you um, a little story as to why I love them so much. I was asked to do um, a dinner um, with some old buffers at a gentleman's club in Soho in London. Um, and I thought, let's bring along a few blind wines for them to taste. Um, everybody likes a bit of a game. Um, I knew they would bring obvious things like Port and Bordeaux and things like that. Um, and so I brought along La Croix Boisset White and La Croix Boisset Red from our great friend Bernard Beaudry. Um, I didn't let them see the bottle shape, that would give it away because they're in the burgundy bottle shape, not in the Bordeaux shape. But um, I decanted them, put them on the table and then the fun started. Of course, um, I thought that they would um, love the white and I thought they would think it was white burgundy and, and they did. They actually didn't think it was any old white burgundy, they thought it was incredibly expensive. Several hundred pounds a bottle from one of the great villages. Wrong. Um, and the red, they of course thought was right bank, um, Saint Emilion Claret, um, again several hundred quid a bottle. So wrong on both counts. I walked away feeling victorious um, and it proved to me that I'm not biased to, uh, about Beaudry's wines. Having found them in a French restaurant, had a lovely time. I didn't have that sort of holiday mentality, um, sort of skewing my opinion. Real life, blind tasting with lovely old buffers. They love the wines as well. I commend Bernard Beaudry to you.